Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Left 4 Dead 2 shoutcast for the EFPS tournament. Uh, I am Prodigy Sim, and I have with me tonight a very special guest caster, Cygnus. How are you doing tonight, Cygnus? I'm doing pretty darn good, Prodigy Sim. Uh, I'm tired, but i um, ready and raring to go for this cast. Well, that sounds good. It should be a pretty good game. We are playing Vox Populi against Hard to Kill right here. Yeah, we sure are, and uh, just ready for waiting for them to get ready. Um, I got two things I'd like to say before we get started here. This is pretty controversial, but I felt like I need to bring it up. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Give me a moment. Sorry. Um, Box Populi didn't want this game to be casted, but uh. I don't know, it was against their wishes, but. I don't know, I guess. I don't yeah, really know it's unfortunate. The team didn't want to be casted, but uh, we we weren't aware of that until after this match was scheduled. So we will be respecting their wishes in future games. And but uh, yeah, I, we figured people want to see this game cast, and we already had it set up, so it's going to continue on. Um, but let's let's go through these rosters real quick. Uh, why don't you introduce Vox Populi for us, Cygnus? All right, we have. Uh... For starting off, we have Alex, who is also known as Hypno from the very old team Dot and Left 4 Dead 1. We have Heretic, also known as Cool Joe, Slow, and Fox. Yeah, some very well-known names from the Left 4 Dead community um, from both games right there. Of course, pretty much everybody recognizes Cool Jerk and Slow, uh, along with Hypno. And I believe Fox has been on a few teams before that we've seen. Um, looks like Team Hard to Kill has lost a couple of their players very suddenly. Um, not sure what's happening here. But we do have Raccoon and Eclipse in here right now. And oof, just a second ago, we had Bravo in here and Breaker as well. So uh, hopefully we'll be seeing the players get back into the game pretty soon. And yeah. we can start up this game on Swamp Fever. Looks like Breaker just came back. Um, I have a shout out from Cool Joe. Uh, pardon my French, but he says, uh, shout out to the piece of shit, disrespectful community of Left 4 Dead. Alright, really putting a stake in things. Yeah, his words, not mine. But yeah, as we're getting back in, looks like Breaker just got back. Uh, how do you think this is going to turn out, Prodigy? You know, it's really hard for me to say. I haven't really seen either of these teams play. Um, I do know that, uh, I mean, these are obviously very good players right here. Um, this match could really go either way. Are you rooting for Box, or are you wondering about this outcome as well? Well, I have to be biased and say that I am rooting for Vox just because they are mostly my friends. I'm not a huge fan of... Uh... H2K, but I do respect that they are pretty darn good players, so I think this is going to be pretty even, um, but like I said, yeah. A Vox match for Cygnus. Teams are slowly filling in here. We do have Breaker back in, still waiting on their fourth, which will probably be Bravo again. Probably just having some issues um, with their game clients, maybe with Mumble. Um, just a reminder... This game is going to be only three maps on Swamp Fever. No finale will be played, so this should be probably about an hour-long match or so. Yep. Uh, what else is there to say? <laughs> Another Swamp Fever game. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to be glad when we move on to the next round and we can start seeing some hard rain games. Yeah, I never used to be. I never used to be a huge fan of hard rain, just because. Uh, no, the, the whole thing. I my whole gripe with that was the elevator tech, but as I've been informed, it's been removed as of late. It certainly has, which makes at least map three a bit more interesting to watch. And map two, you can see more teams finish up the map overall. But yeah, it should be pretty interesting. And of course, no finale on that either. But it's it'll be a four map game instead of just one of these short three map games. Having three maps is just always so hard for uh, a team to come back. You know, if they get down on the first map, they, they really have just one chance to fix it. And if they don't fix it by map two, they're really not gonna they're not gonna make it through the match. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, we can get a good back and forth or have some really even scores during this match. 
Definitely, and uh, far be it for me to say, but I feel like uh, not playing Finale is kind of, like you said, it gives them a little less a little less breathing room if they do mess up, but I, I don't know, I see that as kind of a good thing. That's just me being the person I am, though I like that it, it removes that huge gap of error that you That's used to have, true. having that extra map. No, but I don't I know. Get it may that as well. It may not be balanced, like like I said. But yeah, it's hard to say, but I mean, it certainly does get sort of disappointing. People always talk about like the the hard rain four map. You know, you can be winning the whole game and then just one tank wipe on map four, and it can turn things around. And so having less maps and maybe cutting out some of the less standard maps can uh, really sort of make it so teams really just have to perform hardcore all the time. They can't just get a comeback because of one map. Yep, or that, maybe even just two matches. Really, yeah, and that really leads to some uh, intense matches. It looks like Bravo's having a bit of a connection, or a few connection issues as he's at 1,000 ping, so that probably explains why we're not quite started. That could have something to do with it. But, uh, yeah. 85 right here. Oh, and we won't be having War Room this evening, unfortunately. Yeah, no war room, sorry guys, but I'm sure Cygnus and I can keep you well entertained during these tanks. Uh, it's always nice to hear what the teams are going through in those war rooms, but I think we can give you some good commentary and analysis of these tanks as they go through. Hmm, I'm just, I'm trying to think. What do you think of the chances of a, a death charge happening in this first match? Cause I don't know, it seems to be really random whenever I watch teams scrim each other, even in matches. Yeah, you have... I don't know, with such high skilled teams you wouldn't think there would be a death charge, but that can also mean that they have the coordination to pull See? off a death charge. Yeah, that's the thing, cause I've seen even in like high tier matches that have been casted, like I've seen a death charge, I've seen high tier scrims where there's a death charge, you know, you may not, they may not be trying as hard as they would in a match, yeah. You know, that's, that's still something very embarrassing and very frustrating for the person that does get death charged. That's never, never a happy person. Yeah, I remember playing, seeing some good matches, even just in the SIVO tournament, where there were death charges right here, even on very high level matches. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Bravo's is ping issues figured out. His ping is dropping from 250 to. It seems, yeah, it seems to be regulated. Looks good. Hopefully it'll stay nice for him throughout the match. And we don't have have to have any pauses here interrupting things. Well, and it looks like the teams are readying up. Um, the SI are set up for their first attack already, I believe. Actually, it kind of looks like this Charger's out of position. Uh, of course, they are the ones readying up, so they'll have some time. We do have a 3-1 setup here, I believe, with the Jockey, Charger, Smoker, and Spitter. Yeah, I think, well, you may be right, he might be out of a position, but I think that might actually be his goal, is to spawn from that car. The, the oh, thought yeah. process, yeah, because he's, oh, he is nope, moving. he's changing it up. No. Nope. Oh, finding another spawn there, and they are going to go in with only one survivor out of the safe room right here. Jockey getting shut down, oh, actually getting a little bit of damage right there. Charger missing that charge onto Rochelle right there. And a pause, but that hit is over. A very nice shutdown. I really like that tactic they used. Yeah, they sent out Heretic to uh, go out and take the brunt of the infected chip, while the rest of them just cleared from the inside of the train, which uh, really worked out for them. Yeah, that's something I remember when uh, when we first switched to using spawns during ready up here. We'd see teams do something similar on even Dark Carnival too. Yeah, uh, it's tried and true tactic and. <laughs> I don't think the SI were, we were expecting it, so... Absolutely. Yeah. I can't say I've seen a lot of teams go for that, even these in these matches we've cast. Usually teams just go all, all at once and try to shut down spawns, and... You know, that's sort of hit or miss, but this seems like a pretty solid tactic. Yeah, most definitely. SI yes, didn't, didn't look like they were prepared to that. I mean, the spitter spat inside the train, but everyone knows the spit does not spread inside the trains. So yep. Not much they can do. So then yeah, again. only 14 damage going out. Yeah, that first attack never really does much either way. It's certainly true. You kind of have to get really messed up to have like a, a three cap happen right there. Uh, what do you think about going for that early hit as opposed to waiting for the waiting for the gas station or something like that? I'm in favor of the gas station. Uh, 
I wouldn't like. There's all different variations of where they hit. You know, sometimes people hit a little later after the ga after they leave the gas station and try to hit them when they go for the items in the shed. There. But you know, oh, yeah. I I don't know. I don't see uh, any point in attacking wide out in the open. Sometimes you catch teams off guard, but chances are, if you're going against a team that has played a lot with each other and they already have a strategy for it, then there's just no real point. Certainly true. So are you willing to bet on that? You think uh, Vox is going to do a later hit, or do you think they may just go for an early sack with this setup? Yeah. You know, I can't... I don't really know what to expect from them. Like, I haven't played with them very much, so I don't know. Alright, looks sure. like the game is going live after Bravo putting a lot of messages into the chat right there. Uh, looks like Breakers... No, that is Bravo is still holding a smoker in the back, and he's going to have to despawn. Spawn's coming up in just a couple seconds for two, and then another ten seconds on Raccoon. Fox is gonna make it to the two houses up ahead and the the shed. Um, I'm interested to see how they're gonna deal with this attack. They do have a jockey, charger, spitter, and smoke. smoker again. Yeah. And it looks like it's coming in right now. Uh, pull landing for a little bit, getting taken down. Si, wow, actually landing this charge right here. Getting cleared though very nicely before it finishes landing, and a tank is actually up now in the hands of Breaker. Yes, sir. Breaker is working in that hitable already. That was a very good shutdown though. There was uh, actually no damage was given to the SI on that attack at all. Yep, you can see just uh, how well coordinated they've become in their past uh, while of practicing. Clearly, they've. Uh, Practice. They're organizing that boomer, getting a vomit onto one of the survivors, not getting popped quite yet. The jockey is going in as well. It looks like they're just going for a sack to get, try and get the tank around. Oh, that jockey is AI, and they do have a couple more cappers, but it looks like they're oh, actually, gonna hold off they? on going in. Did the tank pass? Because they had, yeah, they had an AI. It certainly did. No, I believe this is still a. Uh... Oh, this is tank. still breaker on the tank. Maybe it was a double pass. I'm not completely sure. Uh, I missed that right there, but the tank is only at 25% rage. Scratch that. I believe he just got a rock. No, he no, did he not. Didn't. No, that was, uh, they cleared a common on each other. They did get another spitter. The tank is going to try and kill the spitter <laughs> while hiding behind that huge propane tank. And oh, <laughs> missing a punch right there. What is he Twice. doing? I think he's stuck in that corner. Is he? Oh, wow. He... Wow. Wow. That is uh, certainly embarrassing right there for um, Eclipse. I don't know why they dropped the tank right there, but uh, that's a no-no. Um, of course, when it goes AI, I believe he'll be able to climb out. That is very true. So all is not lost, although an AI tank is very not intelligent. Yeah, we'll have to see if he does make it out. And um, it looks like the AI tank may decided teleport. to just chillax. Oh yeah, he could teleport. I don't think that's happening. Vox is sort of pushing up. I think they're going to try to kill him off. Yeah. Uh, At not this exactly point, I believe... the way you want to start a match. <laughs> yeah. We do have the SI choosing to hit anyway, so it looks like this is going to continue. Jockey actually getting a lot of damage onto Fox right here, separating him from the team. The other SI cleared relatively quickly. Um, about 30 or 40 damage going out from that. That tank is just going to get killed off right here, stuck in that back corner. Wow, yeah. that does not uh, look good for Team H2K. You know, while we have some downtime, I hate to bag on my buddy CJ, but uh, there was an infamous blooper when he was on 51 where he, on Dead Car Dark Carnival 2, he hopped oh, over the fence and he was stuck for, and he lost his tank. He was really angry about that, but I'm allowed to bug him. So it's okay. well, that was pretty anyway. funny. I believe the cast, they were, that was cast and they were actually in war room for that. It was... Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty funny to see. Uh, very unfortunate for the team, though. But I believe they went on to win that match. As far as I know, yes, they did. And it looks like the uh, SI are getting ready for. It looks like a death charge. From what I understand, this is pretty standard. The smoker is going to pull out of the house once they're going inside and try to get a charge from the roof. No swimming in the Gator Park. Certainly seems that way. There's. They are switching up their spawns a little bit. Uh, looks like the survivors have unblocked those spawns now, so they'll probably be able to get that. Um, I also like this boomer position on the button. He's going to go for that, but not quite going to make it. A little bit of a timing issue there. The rest of the SI are going in. Pull, not landing, and the charge mm. going in. Just a charge spit right here. For an all right amount of damage, uh, actually Ooh. only about 30 more damage, and the smoker gets taken down as well. 
slow intelligently moved up to kill that smoker instead of running back and getting pulled into the spit. I was honestly expecting him to take way more damage there, but... A very good call then, a very good move by slow. But we do have a few of the spawns up again, Jockey, Hunter, Spitter, and we'll have to see what the last one is. Charger again, so this could do some damage on this hit if they can manage to land this Charger, the Pounce, maybe get some stumbles in the spit. We'll have to see. It looks like the SIR going in now. Pounce getting skeeted right there. And the Charger running into a wall, not landing that. Jockey also getting taken down. I don't believe we saw any damage on there. Maybe just a scratch from the Jockey. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, wow. I didn't expect the Hunter to get skeeted either, and these guys are just full of surprises today. Yeah, did you catch who actually got that skeet? Was it um, slow? I don't think so. I know the hunter was going for slow, uh, and oh. uh, Jeff seems to think it was slow, so we'll yeah, give him the credit was. for now. Another hit. Well, another set of spawns are up. Looks like the horde has stopped temporarily, though. Maybe this is the end of the event. Ooh, Boomer not being able to land that boom, so it looks like they're just going to go for another death shard. Of course, Vox taking a very safe route around here, going far away from their spawns. SI are repositioning to do, it looks like another pull to a charge on the opposite side, over closer to the boat. Let's go, let's go. And the hunter is moving in for the distract. Pull is going to go in very quickly. Slow getting pulled, and the charge just lands. Oh, right no. We can still see death charges in these high level matches. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if that's going to make up for that uh, tank failure right there, but it's certainly going to help hard to kill out. Yeah, we may not see the survivors wipe here, as we do see a lot of three-man survivor teams survive anyways. Of course, it's obviously a possibility, but uh, wow. Um, you could see there, they were a little confused. They all tried to skeet that hunter and then switch uh, targets, but they weren't able to kill the hunter, and then it seems like one of them was reloading, which probably led to the charger surviving in case slows down. Yeah, I think it was basically a case of uh, reload timing not working out for them. Um, so, you know, I have to say, with uh, what Hard to Kill's been doing with their SI so far, I think Vox Populi can make this map. They've been doing really well shutting down all these attacks, and if they just keep that up without slow, they should be fine. We did see that sneaky boom go in right there, and oh, wow, actually a triple charge landing onto the survivors. Getting a lot of pounds in onto Alex right here. Uh, not a hugely devastating hit, but still, that's about 50 damage onto the survivors. Yep, most definitely that did help them, but uh, survivors are still moving at full speed, so anything except for a cap will not really put H2K in that great of a position. Although we have yet to see the survivor play. Uh, Vox is still moving along this one. There is a witch up ahead here, but I think the survivors can choose to go around on the other side and completely skip her, you know, barring some sort of amazing pull or charge. Actually, there is no charger, but there can be a pull. Hits going in anyway for the tri-cap. Two of the caps have landed, but it looks like the jockey's going to get killed off. Hunter not quite making that cap. Getting some more damage onto Fox right there, and a little bit of chip onto the other survivors as well. But uh, no three cap here, and the survivors should be able to chug along and chug those pills and probably make it to the safe room. Yep, yeah, most definitely. We do see uh, one straggling behind for Vox, but that doesn't exactly matter considering H2K does not quite have their spawns up yet, but they will in one second. So do, it is a 3-1 setup again with a boomer charger smoker jockey. And the hit is going in. We do see the pull landing. J Charger getting cleared off very well, though. But it looks like Alex is actually having to be split right here. Uh, actually, sorry, I believe that's Hypno is his other name. I'm calling him by his in-game handle. But, uh, yeah, now that pull is doing a lot of damage to Fox right there. He may even, no, probably not going to get killed, but uh, an in-cap and a slowdown to be sure. Yep. Even though that wasn't the most ideal pull, they still managed to get it down. Uh, she was already and bleeding, but of course we all know Left 4 Dead 2 downs are just as important as uh, doing damage, so. It certainly is. I mean, they're going to have another hit up in, in in a few seconds, and the survivors are just now progressing past where they took that hit. So very good to have those down. It is another, another 3 one Yeah. With Spitter this time, and it is coming in. 
We do have the pounce landing, should get cleared very quickly. The other SI not really timing it so well. The jockey was also taken down, and the charge landing on Heretic there for a bit more damage. So this health bonus has gone down quite a bit. Yep, but they should still make it to the save room to save some of their health that they managed to muster out of those attacks. Certainly, even a little bit of permanent health. Still on a couple of the survivors. Uh, health bonus at 72 right now. And that is the map. That is round one anyway. Yep, you know, uh, they were doing really good up until the hit the death charges seemed to... Uh, Vox started to uh, sort of break down. You know, the clears were still pretty good after the river, but they seemed to take a lot more chip once they lost uh, one, their, one of their players. Yeah, that certainly is true. But uh, it's still, still a pretty good feat. Nothing to laugh at, having three players and getting to the save from there. Especially in a game like this, with all those three caps that hard to kill got. Um, I don't think they got a single 2 2 after they got rid of Slow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that last one was looking pretty grim. I, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but two of them were capped. Uh, oh, yeah, it was when they were on the smoker and the jack. Yeah. I was also kind of afraid of the last one, too, because I saw the jockey going after Kuldrick, but he managed to uh, kill a jockey before it landed on. Yeah, a anyways, good kill on that jockey. I'm I'm honestly impressed. I haven't seen H2K play before, and they, uh, yeah, they obviously proved they can hold their own against Fox. So I'd like to see the survivor play, and we will see it right now. Yeah, it'll be good to see if they can match uh, Fox's pretty amazing survivor abilities on this half. And it looks like you were right, Vox, going for a later hit right here. Uh, I really do like this. Survivor's just creeping up sort of slowly. And it looks like the hit has been triggered. Just pull landing. Jockey not quite being able to get in there. Charger missing his charge. A little bit of spit damage going in onto the pull right there, which isn't getting cleared so quickly. So um, getting about 25 damage in total, 27 damage onto the survivors, which is definitely more than we saw Vox take on their first half, but uh, not really a huge amount either. And we're seeing H2K push up for the, or uh, despawn this tank. It is up in the hands of Fox. And the SI are just now getting spawns as well. They do have a spitter with this, Charger Smoker Spitter. It looks like they're going to do a quick hit right here. A very good move. Just pull only landing for a split second, and the Charger missing and getting taken down. But they lose that spitter last, which is going to help them get their next setup of spawns. And it looks like this tank just sort of hiding out in the back. He was getting a little side, I think, and now he's probably going to continue moving this car up. Yeah, hopefully we won't see Vox do uh, what they did and accidentally land behind that propane tank. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't imagine we would see that happen, but, uh... No, Vox has to be careful when they, uh, push... The oh, they obviously aren't doing it now. If they push this, uh, car in into the gas station and they're not careful and they miss that attack... That being said, the boomer went in, gets popped before he can do anything. Tried to be a distraction, but couldn't do a whole lot. The rock upskid it anyways. Tank throwing another rock and it didn't do a whole lot. Oh wow, another spitter up just now getting killed off. So I think that's sort of holding off Vox from committing with this. Their tank is losing sight rapidly. Hard to kill is LOSing this tank really, really hard right now. And, and he's yeah. actually having to commit without spawn. Going in, not really getting any punches right here. Um, SI are coming in now. Ooh, and oh wow, a nice charge landing right there. Jockey getting a huge amount of separation right here. Probably going to get a lot of damage. Nobody going for that save. Tank getting taken down, but uh, a considerable amount of chip onto Nick. And an alright <laughs> amount of chip onto Rochelle as well. Actually pretty hefty. So we're seeing the teams now with uh, a 656 health bonus. Yeah, I, oh, wow. If not for that quick charger clear, they, that could have been a lot more devastating. And certainly could have. Of course, if we compare this to Vox, uh, they're, they're at a, a much lower amount of health, but uh, I guess we can attribute that to that uh, stuck tank. <laughs> Anyhow, another hit is coming in right here. We have a 3-1 with Spitter, no charger. Hunter getting dead stopped and then killed off. Pull landing for a little bit, and this jockey's getting right clicked. Getting some scratches, though, I believe. At least a couple of them, and um, survivors moving on now with Eclipse in the yellow health. So you know, one slow survivor and one bleeding. 
I'm just waiting for this, eye for an eye. I really want to see another death charge just to see the tension build up, but I'm kind of worried that it's not going to happen. Oh, that would be great to see a, a mirrored hit like that. Well, we'll have to see what Vox gets for their spawn. Sending in a boomer, which gets popped. And it looks like they're going to send in the rest of the SI now. Actually landing that pounce, getting punches with the charger. A huge amount Ooh. of punches, actually, incapping Nick and getting a good amount of spit damage onto Eclipse right there. A uh, very nice hit, well handled. I like how they put in the charger for just punches. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, the speed that they can clear the charger at if he's standing still is a lot higher than if he's running around trying to get punches, and ultimately you can probably get more damage. Certainly, especially in a closed space like that, where, you know, there's a survivor camping just staring at the guy who could get charged, or you could, you know, just punch him and make it a lot harder to clear it. Another hit is coming in, though, uh, to the SI, or one of the SI getting cleared, but a two-cap does land with his jockey and pull, and a oh pounce landing on the Eclipse, getting that in-cap right there. I mean, you just compare each SI, each team's SI, and we're seeing a lot more damage coming out of Vogue. Uh, at least certainly in true. this half. Yeah, in this half. Of course, in that second half after the bridge, we saw Box take a lot more chip. But we'll have to see what happens here. There's only one spawn up right now, just a charger. Kind of looking like he wants to go for a solo charge here, but I don't think that's going to happen. So no death charge for this half, but a, a very nice amount of chip. And going for the the underwater boom right there. Not really gonna. Oh, I guess that's gonna be a sack for uh, Team Box right there. Yeah. I'm guessing they want more three caps to try to maximize their damage. So I, I don't think they they're gonna want to rely on a boomer too much. Certainly, you know, it's two survivors still with a lot of permanent health. They have some items, but if they can get uh, Coach and Ellis both down into bleeding, uh, that can put them on the road to getting a wipe right here. Come on, people, let's Most definitely, they got a smoker instead of the boomer. And they, uh, yeah. I'm interested to see how they're gonna execute this attack. A very spread out SI right now. And the hit is coming in, landing a pull right here, but getting cleared off very quickly. Charger not able to find a cap quite yet. Oh, he takes <gasps> time and gets a death charge onto Breaker right there into the water. With very little health left, that was an amazing play. A really nice job by that charger. Yes. Oh, I love it when that happens. That was that was quite amazing work. That charger, I believe, was... I have no idea who that charger was. But it was a very incredible hit right there. Oh, man. And so now we're seeing Hard to Kill going with only three survivors again. A 3-1 setup for Vox right here. Do you think we can see a tri-cap happen this time? I certainly think it's more possible than last round, but Survivor's sitting in a very safe area right now. And that boom not quite landing. Looks it's like the SI relocate. Yeah, absolutely. SI retreating right here, going for some despawns. Still with this 3-1 with a very chipped hunter, though. Less than 100 health. And the hit is coming in. Boomer getting popped, but the pull landing oh! and the jump and the tri-cap by Team Vox Populi. Here on Swamp Fever 1, wow, a very well executed tri-cap. That hunter only still only has 92 health, a very nice job. Oh. Wow. So this is going Could to put Vox Populi in the lead. Yeah, that was certainly a very intense <laughs> match. Very nice to see the death charge followed by the tri-cap. Very well done. Wow. The scores are 503 for Vox Populi to 397 for Hard to Kill. And we will be going into map 2 of Swamp Fever. Wow. I'd, I'm at a loss for words right now. That was, that was very incredible. That's more excitement than I've seen in the past uh, two or three casts I've done. <laughs> I'm hoping the teams can keep this up and uh, make it a very exciting match for us to watch on the next few maps as well. Oh wow, yeah, I can, I can guarantee you right now my neighbors hate me right now, but I don't care. Absolutely, hey, I live in a house with uh, with four roommates as well, and we all start classes tomorrow, so uh, I'm kind of keeping people up with my shoutcasting, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do.
Most definitely. <laughs> Most well, definitely. As we move on to this map too of uh, Swamp Paper, we have Vox Populi in the lead by 100 points. Give or take. Indeed. So Hard to Kill's leading up Infected right here. Looks like we're waiting for Hypno to get back into this match right here. He he quit at the end of the last map, probably having to restart his game because of some sort of issue. It looks like Hard to Kill has a 2-2 setup right here. Jockey, Hunter, Spitter, Boomer. Uh, what do you think about this setup for this opening, Cygnus? Uh, it's definitely not bad. Certainly. We were noting in the last cast that uh, Boomers can, can do a lot of work here, and someone else actually pointed out that Spitters can do a lot of work here and just in terms of getting some separation onto the survivors. Yeah. Of course, they do have the Hunter to get some chip on with that spit. Might be possible. Yeah, you know the way I like it, Ed Spitter can always do work. It just depends on how they use it. Well, wise when you, words. When you think about it. You know, any given SI can be good in a given situation. Although any SI is useless out in the open, so that's the one that's the one thing I can That's the caveat, yeah. Wide open flat area and uh you probably shouldn't go in. But that being said, there isn't too much of that on this map, so uh, yeah. There's a few open areas, but still a good amount of spawns. I think teams are going to be able to work with this quite well. I mean, we... You know, the the area where everybody ends up taking tank, the late area of the map, that's very open, but I feel like we see a lot of good tank work on that area anyhow. Yeah. I think being able to use your SI as a distraction and try to predict your rocks there is ultimately the best way you can get damage. I mean, you rarely see tanks going for uh, close range fights there just because it is so open. If your SI goes down, you're pretty much left uh, stand. Certainly true. I know in the last match I cast, we saw Adjan getting a lot of very nice rocks on that exact tank, so uh, I, I think what you say definitely holds true. If you get those rocks in there, I mean, that area is basically all about the the rocks for that tank, you can't really do close range. Yeah, this is really the only time I've seen teams like take a lot of damage is when they either eat a lot of rocks or they don't shoot the tank. Which is... <laughs> well, in any situation that's bad, but... Especially that one where he's got so much range to... And so much cover, really. Certainly. Uh, we still do not see Hypno returning to this game. Kind of wondering what's up. It's becoming kind of a long pause for us, but that's okay. We'll try to keep you guys entertained. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the cast so far. Looks like a lot of Vox picking up those Magnums right now. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, when it comes to the Magnum and two pistols, I mean, what would you choose? You know, it really depends, but for this map, I'd have to say Magnums, without a doubt. It's just so useful here. Yep, it's a mini hunting rifle. Without a scope. Yeah, it's the let your whole team chip that tank from a far gun. Yep. And uh, seeing as it doesn't look like there's an HR for quite a while on this map, that seems to be a good choice. It certainly does. Of course, we don't have the parachutist... Um, oh, actually, I think there's a HR at the first dock right here. I'm Is there saying. actually? Did I there's miss it? A chrome shotgun and the hunting rifle, both on that dock. So yeah, really? they'll be getting it fairly quick. Just you know, not before Man, the first hit. <laughs> so blind. Probably blended in with the boards <laughs> right there. And... Stupid chick, this can't even cheat a hunting rifle. What a bad caster, <laughs> Well, as long as you don't miss them in your matches, uh, th that's really where it counts. So true. I mean, you know... Go ahead, I'm just gonna make a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> you see this uh, on the doctors, like the, the makeshift oven? Or the uh, makeshift... What did I, why did I say up? 
I have no idea. Up? I didn't even see that movie. What? What? What are we talking about? <laughs> Toilet? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. You see on the dock with the HR spawn, right? Yeah. There's there's like a pot with some weird mixture in it. Yeah, yeah. I saw something identical to this in my near my garbage outside. A toilet seat on top of a can. No, 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 not a toilet seat. But what? You get the gist of it. It looked, it oh, looked a lot like, like a hobo just made his home near that garbage can, and he thought he'd make some oatmeal or something. Oatmeal. I don't even know. I don't know, man. Like it was weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's oatmeal okay. in that bucket. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think the toilet seat is supposed to send a message to us that it's it's not oatmeal, but I don't know. Maybe you know otherwise. You making fun of me? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit, but uh. Um, just a little. I'm just worried about what you might be eating out of buckets outside of your house. <laughs> For your information, I did not eat it. <laughs> all right, all right. Probably a good choice in any case. Yeah, if I wanted to get every single disease in one bite, I'd totally do that. But uh, I'd rather stay safe. A good decision for a prolonged, healthy life. <laughs> oh, I have a shout-out from Pink I haven't read in like two days. Shout-out <laughs> to him, how mad, 1 to 10, batty. Whoa, shit-talking. Ouch. Both teams obviously staying quite focused during this match. <laughs> I'm just noticing now that half of Hard to Kill is uh, across the map staring at different things. I guess they're just scouting out the map, but uh... Yeah, probably. Um, Alex just got back online, so he should be here any second. Well, that's good to see. You know, how did these houses, like, stay together? Like, it's just wood. There's, like, no nails or nothing in there. Is there? Is there <laughs> nails? I don't see nails. You know, honestly, this first house, it's, the roof is half floating right there, so... Yeah, um... what's up with that? I don't know. Zombie magic. Um, valve magic. Valve magic for sure. Some of the best magic I've seen. It just takes a while to conjure up. I know, right? It's just like quick magic. Shoot a rocket at your feet and you go sky high. Woo! Absolutely. And slow is running up, but we do not yet have Alex in, so it's just uh, oh. putting an extra, taking another step towards being ready. <laughs> Oh, and he said, uh, the cast is skipping, Jeff. Uh, we had this issue last night as well. And, um, yeah, since the cast is skipping, we found that the, the video records fine, and it's probably just like a bandwidth limit somewhere. Either, um, either for our channel, which is unfortunate, or it's for, for like, maybe the individual user who's watching and having issues. But, uh, yeah, there's not a lot we can do about it, so, um, just bear with us if it's skipping a little. Alright, now that that's taken care of, uh, I'd also like to say one more thing. Uh, did you also know that Valve Magic lets it so that if you're on fire and you use air, you can douse the fire instead of making it bigger? <laughs> In, like, Team Fortress too. Yeah, you, if you air blast about. somebody who's on fire, they, they're not on fire anymore. Makes sense, right? It certainly does. Well, it is a compression blast, so... Uh, Maybe but, if you had, mm. like, a, a giant amount of pressurized air, you could do, you know, similar to, like, blowing out a candle. You can blow out a candle, right? Oh, well, yeah, but, uh, but... That would take a lot of air. It's a candle, like man. That. Like, candle doesn't light your skin on fire. That's a very good point. <laughs> well, I guess it would if you, like, stuck your hand over it for a couple seconds, but, I mean, really, who would do that? And we're finally getting underway. Alex is back, and we're seeing... Box Populi on Survivor. And looks like Hard to Kill getting set up in their positions. Um, I think, you know, these SI are very stretched, spread out again. Um, Boomer going for a close spawn. Jockey pre-spawning in front. Hunter also has pre-spawned, but they haven't committed to this hit yet. I think they're waiting for the Boomer to figure out where he wants to spawn. Doing a nice job not getting that Jockey chip, though, but he's going to have to go in pretty soon before Slow gets to him. 
And the hit is coming in, landing that jock onto slow, landing a pounce onto Alex in the safe room. Spit not hitting though, and the smoker actually is not a smoker, it's Jeff who I need to have respec again. Yeah. Something like Jeff. He's stuck on, stuck on our screens, <laughs> there he goes. Anyways, that being said, a total of 10 damage went out, and we do already have a witch. She will probably be taken care of very easily if they have a shotgun, and they do. A couple spawns coming up, but I doubt they're going to be able to get spawns on this. They do get Ooh. a spawn, but Vox choosing to avoid the witch instead. A good move. Uh, they're out of the aggro radius, so she should calm down pretty quick. We do have a 3-1 setup for H2K right now with the Boomer. Boomer going in, getting popped by Slow. And looks like the Jockey slowly committing, getting taken down. Charger also having a long run, but not taking any chip yet. And Vox does dodge that charge. Hunter getting dead stopped finally and taken down maybe no <laughs> there he goes <laughs> oh the magical hunter uh, that was pretty funny though I mean when they chose to avoid that witch and then go back to when they chose to avoid that witch that charger got kind of screwed I mean he was pre-spawned he couldn't really do anything after that he just kind of ran up and died yeah they were really forced to just sort of trickle in on that head of course he didn't get too chipped on the way in but uh, they just weren't able to time the rest of their SI to get them in there at the same time. You know, I think the majority of the damage on Alex is actually friendly fire. <laughs> yeah, it well, look, seems they like did, they only did an extra 12 damage that last attack. That being said, the attack is rolling in. Smoker pre-spawned and is dead. Boomer's walking in, not doing a whole lot. I'm guessing this is a sack attack because nothing landed. Yeah, that was a 2-2 setup, so... It's probably a good idea for them to just go ahead and lose that. Of course, this may mean they lose the attack on this event. However, the tank has spawned and this is in the hands of Raccoon for Team Hard to Kill right now. So this is something I haven't seen, at least not in a cast for a while, an early tank on this map. Well, not super early, but uh, pre-event tank. Yep, and uh, considering the survivors already have a hunting rifle, this should be pretty simple for them. Yeah, probably just, it's just going to be a chipping and killing game. However, they are choosing the line of sight, the tank, right now. Um, Heretic just moving up to get a little bit of chip right there. Boomer getting popped, so it looks like this attack should go out here. Getting a little bit of chip so far. Yep. Uh, so far we saw 500, 500 points of damage done to the tank, so not a whole lot of chip, but about uh, five rounds in depth. Certainly true, and I believe it has passed once. It is now in the hands of Bravo. Yes, of Bravo, and we just saw a spitter get sacked at the tank right there. Tank going up for some sight, I think, and he's managed to get up there without getting chipped again. But that shouldn't last too long. Yes, the chip just starting. Only getting one hit so far. Actually managing to block that hunting rifle, those hunting rifle shots behind that tree a little bit. And the last spawn is finally coming up. It is a hunter, so they have their three cap, and it looks like they're going to commit with this. They don't really have a choice with only 25% rage left. Tank at about 4,000 health. Going for rock, but wow, that propane tank blocks the rock. Kind of screwing up his move right there. SI slowly trickling in, landing a pounce for two damage right there. Hitting some punches. Hunter has been cleared, though, and a pull does land. Tank still trying to get some punches. He does get one onto slow again. He has a good amount of health, actually getting another rock right there onto Heretic. But uh, now the SI are pretty much down. He does finish up that in-cap onto Slow, but he is dead. Yep, a fair amount of damage done onto Slow there. He was uh, <laughs> the main receiver of the damage there, uh, considering he was uh, knocked back from the Hunter there, and he pretty much was forced to eat a rock and then continuously punched in the face. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, he took most of it. We did see at least one rock go off onto Rochelle. And I think Alex might have taken some chip there somehow. I didn't really see where that came from, though. I, but, think, uh, I believe he was when they got pulled. Certainly now. We'll probably see the survivors rush this. Um, not the greatest SI setup for this. A 2-2. Two -two. Oh, maybe not, actually. That was a charge and not a boomer. And it does land the charge. Getting a little bit of, actually no spit damage right there. The spit actually not spreading to where Rochelle was sitting. And so this hit is out pretty much. And they should be able to rush through this event and probably just rush, continue rushing through the rest of the map, don't you think? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we shouldn't see the next attack up until about five seconds from... Um, even then, like, the attacks here are kind of eh. Like we said before, there's 
From this point on, there's quite a bit of uh, free free reign. Certainly is true, and most of the horde are still behind right now, so it looks like they're going to have an easy time rushing this. Um, Hunters is spawned up in front. None of the SI have spawned. None of the others have spawned yet. Two two set up again, so not too powerful. It looks like they're going to hit at this next corner as the survivors come through, looking for this boom and actually going to get it onto slow right there. The three health bonus survivors sitting in the back. Oh, actually catching a pounce and a charge. Alex almost kind of walked into that. Of course, it was too far of a charge, and that spit did not spread to it. So only 10 damage going there onto Alex, and maybe a little bit more from that pounce. But um, Team Vox is still sitting pretty with a 650 health bonus. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty darn good for this map. Even though, even so, considering so did get down to at least once, it's uh, pretty nice health bonus. Everyone else has have uh, quite a bit of uh, solids. We should only see one, maybe two attack. Yeah, only one. This is the only attack that I think has a chance of doing, you know, major damage right here, just because of the water slow down. Not looking like a very powerful setup though, although it is going in. Jockey getting killed off, Hunter landing his pounce, actually getting a spit on that, not quite getting cleared, and a pull landed for quite a bit. So wow, actually a good amount of damage has just yeah. gone into Fox right there. Uh, health bonus now down to 500. Yep, that was uh, <laughs> quite an impressive attack, uh, just because that Hunter tore him up for quite a bit, they didn't really clear him that fast. Yeah, that was, uh, that was certainly better timed than some of the other attacks we've seen before though too. Uh, they got all of their SI to cap at basically the same time. Of course, the jockey did get skeeted right as he went for that cap, but, um, you know, as far as timing goes, they all hit it about the same time. 552 health bonus was the final total for this round. And we will be seeing... Yeah, somebody don't need these. Hard to kill survivor round next. Uh, you know, I think it's gonna come down to how they handle this tank. Yeah. If they can make it through that tank, they're gonna they're gonna see just as easy of a second half of the map as uh, as Vox did. Pretty much just a run through. You know, barring any sort of survivor incompetence and uh, messing up and eating an attack too hard, they should be able to just make it through the map pretty easy after tank. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Again, this first attack they have is a 2-2. Not that great of an attack, but not too bad. Like I said, it all depends on how they use it. Survivors chipping out the common here, trying to clear the area. It looks like Slow's gonna go for this early boom on the rock right here. If he can make that spawn. Okay. This Bravo is ghosting out a bit, making the run, blocking the boomer. Boomer getting a new spawn though. It looks like he's gonna get a one boom. Uh, pounce and spit landing right there, and actually... We have Raccoon getting jockeyed, actually sp split from the other survivors. Oh my. Getting that spitter split that we were talking about before a little bit, uh, getting a very nice amount of damage right here, about 60 damage in total, even more than that, almost 70 damage. Damn, yeah, that was... Yeah, like I said, you, there's a huge difference in the damage output there. H2K didn't do a whole lot, and Fox did. It all came down so to how the two teams used it. We did see that Witch Crown go out there very quickly by Bravo, uh, just as the SI were getting spawns. And again, we're going to see a hit in this area. Um, a much quicker hit, though, and actually landing a pounce. Charger not quite landing. Probably going to get a punch or two, just one punch so far. And I think we got a little bit of spit chip in there. But uh, only about 10 more damage off of that attack, I believe. Yep, Maybe honey a little bit more. Honey Riffle has been picked up, I reckon. We should see this tank spawning pretty quickly here. Certainly, definitely before they get spawns, um, we might be able to see a little bit of a hit on the run back. I believe the survivors have a bit more to move before the tank spawn. And now it is up, going into the hands of Alex. And we're going to see, uh, the hit is coming in, landing a pounce onto Raccoon right there, putting him into the yellow. Jockey getting dead stop, Boomer pop in. Uh, no spitter, but uh, yeah, Boomer getting popped off right there. So no damage really going in on that hit, and now we just have to see this tank play out. Tank is in the hands of out. Taking a little chip there, but uh, actually not even a little, he just took one shot. Certainly his rage is going down pretty quickly though. 10%, looks like it's going to pass right here. As Vox goes in to sack another hit, Boomer getting popped, and the spitter is going to go down as well.
So we'll probably see them either get another Boomer or a 3 cap for this next hit, and we'll probably just see him push in. Yep, tank now in the hands of Heretic. Next spawn should be up in 10 seconds, or... Yeah, both spawns should be up in 10 seconds. Heretic actually pushing up and not taking any chip right here. Are the I guess the survivors are all line of sighting him. They did get a little bit more LOS, but now he has sight, and now he's moving in, avoiding those propane tanks very nicely. Tank committing, still at about 4,500 health. Finally getting his corner, he lands the corner, and the three cap is coming in right here. Charger getting taken out there, while pull does land, and this pounce also landed. Uh, Raccoon has been cleared though, and he's doing some long range clearing. Actually managed to clear Ellis through all of that. Very nice move, but this tank's still gonna be getting a few punches. With 2,000 health left. He has one more hit to get an in-cap on Ellis. No, but he chooses to try to spread out that damage to more of the health bonus. Oh, getting the rocket the last second onto Eclipse right there. Very nice tank by Heretic. Um, I have to say, they definitely did more chip than than we saw Hard to Kill do in the first half. Yep, uh, they audaciously pushed that tank in, and despite all odds, managed to do quite a bit of damage with the separation and chaos caused by his support. Certainly, I think a lot of it can be attributed to managing managing to get that corner onto Raccoon right off the bat. Um, that really allowed the other SI to do work and the tank to have more opportunities to do damage as well. Definitely. We did see another hit come in right here, but it was a 2-2. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot. Did get a 1 boom. And the spitter choosing to save his spawn for the next attack. Yep, and... Uh I think we're probably going to see Vox do the same thing as them. Most likely they're going to wait until they get into the t close quarters area up here with all the trees and what. So we should see at least two attacks, maybe three if they're able to do en enough damage. We are seeing a hit come in right now, getting a separation pull right here. Not getting cleared very quickly at all. And the hunter comes in, gets that pounce, Ooh. spit going in. Oh wow, and he's hoarded a little bit, but it looks like he gets out fairly quickly. He is down into the yellow though, eclipses. And their health bonus is currently sitting at 508. So Actually, they're, they're already below what a Vox had. Certainly that health bonus dropped very rapidly. I think Eclipse actually took some more damage from somewhere. Yep, but now Vox is going to be looking for damage on the Rochelle to bring down that health bonus even more. Did they really build these houses Looks like they're getting a pretty good setup so far. Boomer, Hunter, Charger, Jockey, if they can get a good hit in this area, they can I'm definitely bring down that health bonus. Oh, Boom does go in and land onto Eclipse. Jockey comes in, lands his cap. Ch Hunter getting dead stopped on top by Bravo. That Charger getting some good punches on the bottom, but um, not hitting any of the health bonus right there. Hard to kill doing a good job preserving that health bonus, but uh, still, health bonus aside, I think that was a pretty Hello. nice attack by Vox. Yep, uh, had Rochelle not landed that dead stop, that would have been terrible for them. Well, that certainly so, uh, would have been devastating. <laughs> good job to HUK. They managed to get in the safe room with a little less health bonus than uh, Vox. 520, yeah, not a... You know, I almost expected a bigger split. I thought the that Vox came in with a bit more health than that. But, um, yeah, hard to kill. Only a 30-point difference on this map. Final scores after this round are 1655 for Vox to 1517 for Hard to Kill. Still just a little bit over a 100 point split right here. Yeah, and it can, like you said, it continues to be a very close game. Hmm. I, I, don't, I really don't know what to expect going into this third map. Third and final map. Indeed. Doesn't quite seem like a cast says it's only three maps. Yeah, it's, I really wish it would be longer than this, but um, it's kind of weird to see the third map end and then say, alright, I guess we're done. <laughs> I'm so used to watching teams exit the game during that like final uh, credit sequence. Not really credit sequence, but the final, like, do you want to rematch sequence? And yeah. As the escape vehicle is leaving, and there's no escape vehicle here. Survivors just are in another safe room. It's not really the end. <laughs> kind of sad. I'm getting sent up on already. Unfortunately, Swamp Fever is uh, so infamous for having a glitchy finale, and that's why we can't play. So thank you, Valve. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be fixing that. They're, they're making it sound like 
they've got some bug fixes in store for the actual DLC release. Uh, don't take my word on that, but uh, I believe I've heard something like that. Little do you know, all the resources are going towards the next CS and Dota 2. Hey, hey. It's very important that we have they... our hats in Counter-Strike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Starting off, we have Fox on Survivor once again with H2K on Infected. They have a an okay setup, same as last time, two two. Exactly the same with Jockey and Hunter, I believe. Yes. Team's pushing out. Looks like a lot of spawns getting blocked right here. Oh, Boomer does get the spawn. Doesn't land the boom. Uh, Jockey actually getting killed off very quickly. Hunter getting a little bit of chip right there. And the Boomer finally getting taken down. A total of... Oh, wow. Actually taking some spit damage there. A uh, total of 20 damage. You know, not great, but... Uh, with the setup, what you gonna do? Yep, two twos aren't that great. And it looks like we have a tank already. Oh, yes, we, we do. certainly do. In the hands. He's choosing to get out right now. Probably a good idea. No spawns up to help him, and... He's already taken about 500 chip, 550. We're seeing a hit go in right here to support him a little bit. And a pounce lance for a little bit. Uh, a little bit of spit and jockey damage as well. Reloading. Adding up another 20 damage fire, or so. Though. Oh, wow. Well, was that an accidental shot onto that gas can? I yeah, guess? he was. He shot at the jockey and he got the gas can. Of course, uh, gas can's not going to do too much work in a yeah. water level like this, but... uh. Every Still can't be count. used strategically. Certainly. We do have another... No, it's actually Boomer Spitter Charger right here, so we're gonna have to see huh. Hard to Kill drop this again. They have let their tank pass. It is in the hands of Bravo now. I feel like that's that's where their tanks went last map. It was just between Break and Bravo. Maybe I'm getting that wrong, though. Yeah, I wasn't totally paying attention to that, but... We do see two cappers up right now, so H2K is really hoping for that third capper, I assume. I would assume so. A boom can be okay right here, but uh, I think the third capper is good as well. And we do have a smoker up for that final spawn. Tank moving in slowly, taking about 1,200 chips so far. And he's going to take a little more chip as he finally gets the commit right here. Choosing to go onto the trailer, very good move. Not getting a punch yet though, and the survivors have moved out into the water area. Oh wow, a nice skeet again by Slow right there. However, this smoker has gotten his cap. The other SI are down. Just getting a corner onto Alex right here. Maybe not even going to get the in cap. He does get the in cap onto Alex, and he will go down. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting deja vu here. We only saw one person go down here. But, uh, yeah, yeah, and then another, and then like another rock or so onto <laughs> another player. So but, uh, yeah, this does look very similar to last map. Yeah, but uh, like I said, still uh, better than nothing, obviously, especially on this area. We I rarely see an in-cap, so. Yeah, certainly true. Um, I mean, the tank had to take a good amount of chip and then commit, but uh, they did okay with it. I have to wonder if maybe they could have done better with the boom, but uh, we'll see. As I continue the rest of this map, there's still a lot of potential for damage here, and the next hit is coming in with the hunter pouncing around to the front and getting skeeted finally, and Charger missing his sp his cap as well. Boomer not getting his spawn in front, and the spitter in the back just sort of wondering what to do. A boomer going for a free boom and not getting anything close to it, it looks like. So uh, it looks like Vox is going to have a free run to the start of the event right here. And yep, you know, but... I have to say, Vox is pretty pretty strong on their survivor. I can't imagine them taking a huge amount of chip during this event either. Yeah, um, yeah you pretty, took the words, pretty much took the words right out of my mouth. Letting that gas can to clear the horde, we used to them moving up. Smoking, looking for a pull back, but... Uh... Getting kind of confused, Hunter manages to go in and pounce the for a few moments before getting cleared. Smoker getting a pull off on Slow and Jockey riding Alice for a few moments. Both effectively getting cleared and we do have a spitter running backwards. Certainly that spit missed right there. If it had landed, we might have seen a little bit more chip or maybe a delay, but uh, it did not. And Vox is still looking good with actually an 852 health bonus right now, which That's is absolutely huge. That is pretty hefty for this man. Yeah, I mean, it's more than the distance value of the map uh, by a pretty significant amount. Very good to see. And it looks like 
Spawns are up for this very last hit. I think they're going to be forced to wait until essentially the docks to do this hit, though. And um, yeah, Vox taking sort of the long way around on the right side, not cutting any corners, staying away from spawns. Very safe move. And finally, Alex is committing onto this dock, looking like they're wanting to go single file through this choke point. And the hit does come in right here, getting that boom onto Coach. Charger moving in slowly, not taking a lot of chip yet in any of the SI. Pull does land onto Ellis. Charger is still alive, going for punches onto Ellis. Probably a good move into spit landing as well, but oh no, that Charger just stumbled Ellis out of the spit. Yeah, that Which probably that, took him away from, uh, from being an in-cap. Um, wow. Uh, that took them down quite a bit from about, what was that, they had about 850 to 650. Still quite a hefty health bonus, but... Uh, yeah, nothing to shake a stick at right there, but that was a very good uh, last hit by HDK right there. Good quick thinking from that charger going for those punches, I think. <laughs> shake a stick at, Jeff. You don't Jeff ever shake sticks at things? Jeff isn't very familiar with the, them saying... Youngin'. <laughs> anyway, the next round is starting oh, with Box on Infected this time. Sorry. We'll have to see what yeah, they do with that you. tank. Um, I imagine we'll see this attack do similarly little damage that we saw Hard to Kills do, but uh, you know, maybe they can pull something out like they did last map and get a lot of damage with that spit stuff. I'm grabbing pills. Hold on to these pills. We'll have to see right here, and survivors are creeping out. Oh, Spitter actually going in. Getting that separation right there again, but the SI are saving for, I believe, the tank spawn right here. Very interesting move from Fox Popular. Yeah, they, I think the way they saw it was they, like like you said, that attack really does a whole lot of damage. I'm confused as to why they tried to get, get the boomer though, but they may be thinking that they want that horde instead of that dirt capper, considering it is so wide open. Yeah, certainly. And of course, if they get the boom onto like the hunting rifle, they can they can stop a lot of chip onto that tank. Maybe get some extra sight. Definitely. I mean, when you think about it, if he gets a good enough boom, I mean, the slow in the water plus the common, that's pretty devastating. Yeah, you know, if they get a good enough boom, I think that tank was close enough of a spawn. He could even commit immediately if they wanted to do that. Yeah, that. I was thinking that actually when they were. When the uh, survivors were pushing the tank, I was kind of expecting the tank to push themselves because they just sent spawns in and they landed both SI, I believe. You know what else uh. I'm noticing right here is uh, Heretic's the only one with damage. So it looks like <laughs> along with sacking that spitter, he has insured his own tank. And the tank is up. Wow, this is actually very good saving these spawns. I didn't realize how early this tank spawned. They're actually forcing the survivors to run back here. Oh wow. Move does land onto one survivor and they still have a few spawns in case they want to do something with them here in a sec. Tank moving up with a car, which is actually just flown. Ooh. Is that out of play? Can the tank get over there? That is out of play. I believe if he tries to go over there, he's screwed. Well, that would be unfortunate. We don't want to see that happen. Yep. So it looks like they're just going to have to work with the one car in this area and the SI they were given. That um, shouldn't we saw be a gas problem. can light but the survivors also have a molly which can be used in this situation going for rock play instead Ooh. actually getting the rock and a couple of caps as well um, basically just the rock doing damage though and giving that tank full rage again so they've got a lot of time and they can play this tank out pretty long I think if they can keep this up yeah that was uh, that was great 18 coordination right there that hunter stumbling that person into getting hit by the rock Pretty impressive stuff. We do see boxes spawns coming up right now. And we do have a spitter, so it does not look like the tank will be pushing in quite yet. Looks like they're just gonna go in for another rock. Definitely a pretty weak setup and the boomer got popped, so that was it for that hit. Tank has taken about 500 chip, got a few more bullets put into him right here, but uh, nothing major. And it still has not passed once. It looks like it is about to pass. Heretic going for that last second rock. Not quite landing, taking a, a, a couple hundred more chip right here. It is now passed on to slow. Yes, sir, we have a 2 1 here. We have a boomer, jockey, and hunter. Looks like we're going to see the tank push in. Molotov and a gas tank lit. That's a lot of fire in the middle of the survivor's play area, but uh, 
SIR coming in, Jockey landing but getting taken down very quickly. Actually doing a lot of juking onto this mm. tank right here by Breaker. And the tank actually has been taken down without landing a single punch off of that. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Far be it for me to say, but it looks like uh, that was actually a better idea than what Vox said, pushing up into that water. Yeah, I that's mean, a... The way you look at it, there's no water up there, so there's nothing to slow them down. They were really relying on that boomer for the horde slow down for them to do anything. And unfortunately, even then, they had a ga another gas can and a Molotov. Yeah, certainly true. The SI, I mean, they didn't have a 3-cap to go in with right there in that area, and they just weren't able to get those punches onto Breaker, you know. I've seen Breaker do some pretty, pretty substantial juking in the past, but, uh... No, you have to say, when it's in a corner like that, I have to wonder if it's a little bit of the tank's fault as well, not getting those punches. But anyway, Hard to Kill is still continuing through this map. I'm a reload. Oh, whatever the case, uh, reload. all Vox Populi has to do is bring them below the health, um, below the health bonus required, so they need to make sure they don't get 150 more. But as I'm so rudely interrupted, we see the Charger and Hunter both get killed before they can land anything in the Smoker. Doing a little bit of damage to Ellis before getting cleared. But a very well-timed like, hit, but uh, yeah, just hitting those dead stops and killing off that hunter. This could be bad news actually for Vox Populi because the tank did not do enough damage. Uh, if they don't do work with these next few attacks, uh, H2K will win. Yeah, I have to say, I think Vox Populi has a better chance, like a, a higher probability of doing damage on this event to Hard to Kill than Hard to Kill had doing to them. But, uh, you know, without that tank damage, right now they're sitting at over a thousand health bonus. 1160 right now. And, um, that, they're gonna need a lot of chip to bring that down below, uh, they need yeah. it below about 800. Yeah, below 800. Which is definitely not impossible. As we see the charger going in, got a charge, and oh wow, the hunter taking the jockey's sound, but we're seeing a lot of chaos and a lot of damage going out in that last attack. Certainly, we got at least one Charger Scratch, and I believe we got um, a little bit of Pounce Damage and Jockey Scratches as well. Health Bone is still at 1,000, though, so we'll just have to see how far Hard to Kill can move through before the next hit gets up. Uh, I hope they just don't get too rushed about it. But uh, yep. this is looking like they could actually make this comeback on Map 3. Wow. Did not think that would be possible. A very close game. And they don't have that great of an attack, unfortunately. Oh no! Uh, this could be very bad for Vox right now. Well, the boomer you know, going we saw in. Hard to kill. Go ahead! Wow, this hit is going in. Uh, yeah. Um, that's it. Wow. <laughs> I hate that... to prematurely call it, but that was it. Uh, the charger ran into a tree. The <laughs> boomer went prematurely. You know, I think Vox just got upset after that tank. I mean, that's the only thing I could say. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. Very unfortunate. Oh, Breaker calling an early GG right there, and it looks like the game is over. Very, very close match. 3,201 to 3,007. Going in favor of Hard to Kill, pulling it out at the very, very last map. Uh, Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, it all came down to that last map if that tank had done even... If that tank had even done, like, one, two more punches, then... Yeah, that, you have to remember, yeah. they were all on permanent, and every punch can take down, like, almost 100 points. I don't know, I don't know, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but, uh... It can certainly do a lot. It's unfortunate for Vox Populi, but a big congratulations to Hard to Kill, really pulling it out on that last map. I'll so, um, build. thank you guys all for watching, tuning in. Uh, thanks for casting with me, Cygnus. Uh, no problem. And thanks to both of our teams for playing, and I hope you guys will tune in to our next cast, whenever those may be. And we'll see.